Hi, I'm Don Baudin from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today, I'm really excited. We're going to be checking out the new updated The Orchestra by Sonoscore as the orchestra complete with the added Strings of Winter sample library. Sonoscore has updated its hit library, The Orchestra, now as The Orchestra Complete. The powerful ensemble engine now comes with 302 ensemble presets, and includes some new instruments, percussion, bonus instruments, as well as the new Strings of Winter articulations. All in all, the Orchestra Complete downloads as 11.7 gigabytes. It's a sample set from recordings of an 80-piece orchestra, includes strings, brass, woodwinds, and now percussion. And new to the Complete, they have recorded a 41-piece string orchestra to create the expansion of the Strings of Winter. Complete also includes the Morin Kur, which is the national instrument of Mongolia, also called the Horsehead Violin. The library comes with standard articulations, including true legato and 60 new string articulations from the strings of winter, and including trills, sol, ponticello, harmonics, conlingo, bartok pits. The library is a collection of multi sampled instruments, but the real fun kicks in with this arpeggiator and velocity envelopes they've created. You get a total of 302 ensemble presets. This is 108 new from the previous version of the orchestra, including a range of categories for colors, rhythms, and animated presets. New to the library is a drag to MIDI, which looks to be very powerful and a great way to work with this library. The Orchestra Complete is a contact player instrument, loads in the free contact 6.0.4 or higher. The library is listed selling for $399. There's an upgrade for owners of the orchestra for $119. And the Strings of Winter is available as a contact player instrument as well for just $149 if you want to pick it up on its own. I've got the orchestra loaded up here. You can see it's a contact player instrument. Loads right into your libraries tab of contact six. And make sure you got contact six. You can't load it up in contact five. We've got the main instruments folders for strings. We've got our sections as well as those uh, ensembles of the Mongolian instruments. And we've got brass, woodwinds, percussion, and string effects. We also have the Orchestra Complete main NKI, which we'll get right into, but I also want to show these multis here. There's the Orchestral Colors multis, which range for everything from big 
all the way across the board, pre-organized lead legato lines. Of these again, I'm going to do these big uh, marcados because this looks pretty fun. Let's take a listen to these. And then we've got uh, different combinations for pizzicato and staccato, brass and strings, brass and woodwinds. Let's just have a listen to these brass and woodwinds multi. <laughs> So let's go ahead and jump back because we've also got the rhythms. We'll check out more of those in a little bit and, and the animator orchestra, which I think we're going to be really enjoying that. Let's go ahead and to go to the uh, meat and potatoes of the library, the main orchestra, the orchestra complete patch here. And the powerful thing about this library um, that really makes it shine is the ability to select your orchestral colors or rhythms or animated. So let's just pick an animated one wildly here. I played some up at the front, but let's have a little fun with these now. see here the we've got arpeggiators going and we've also got the envelopes going so all of these instruments here that we've got loaded up in the five slot slots flute staccato clarinet staccato violin one sustained viol viola pizzicato and cello pizzicato are all playing up so let's check out uh one of these So everything has some expression with your uh, mod wheel, which is really nice. Uh, and looking at the uh, way the library is set up here, you could jump to your um, your presets here. They've got animated orchestra, orchestral colors, orchestral rhythms. So very quickly, I could just start getting in and playing something fun. I think what is going to be the most interesting for me is to get in and check out the new sample set. I've got a video where I reviewed the original orchestra. It's one of the more popular videos on the channel, so I'll be sure to include a link to that if you want to see the first look of the original version. Uh, I'm going to jump into some of the more new features and samples and the first thing we're going to do is go to the violin extended articulations so that we can hear these strings of winter presets and uh, we've got soul pont sustains It 
sounds pretty good. They've got a concert hall right here with some other IR options. Let's check out the concert hall too. Now let's hear it with the no IR. Yeah, it actually has a nice bit of sound there, just with the clean uh, little tail there. You can tell they recorded it in a hall, so it's got a little bit of tail. Uh, let's see what else we got. Let's check out the small hall. And let's jump into the Sol Pont Tremolo. Sol Pont Spitcato. Yeah, a nice bit of bite with the velocity change there. It's some sustain harmonics. And I believe expression. Yep, controlled by the mod wheel. And then we've got tremolo harmonics. And harmonics marcato and conlingo. So these should be all the new um, strings of winter articulations, and those should be throughout violins, violas, cellos, and basses. And what I'm wondering is, in our multis, if they have those divided out so we can play an entire ensemble of... Here's Sol Pont Ensemble, okay, in the multi. I'm really loving the recording quality of these. Um, I th I don't know what exactly it is. I think it's an improvement. Um, they, these new articulations have a real nice sound to them. Also looks as though the percussion that's been added, we should take a look at that because I promised we were going to look at the new stuff in the library. There's a glockenspiel. Oh, that's fine. Uh, right now I've got the glockenspiel loaded up. And I also have another version of the orchestra with the harmonic trims. So let's get rid of that. And then here are whole trills. So that you're starting to see how you can layer instruments and get more power out of them. Of 
we've got some non-pitched percussion. All right. Got a roll here with dynamics control by Modwheel. I'm a big fan of that. All right, then we've got an orchestral harp. Uh, it looks like we don't have any articulation changes. A timpani instrument. Oh, okay. It's interesting. The way they got it divided up here, we've got... Uh, hits on the lower end and looks like we've got rolls up high so we've got uh, purple hits and then rolls across the orange with dynamics and air expression on the uh, mod wheel Alright, so we got some nice percussion there. We got some bonus instruments. Here's the choirs. Those sustain vowels, it sounds like it's called the Elven Choir Sustain Vowels. Sounds like O O A E. And then we got staccato female. Very nice. Nice little selection here for key switching um, your staccato enunciations. And then a bonus for ah and ooh female choir. That's a nice choir sound. We've got men's staccatos with articulations. And then men's sustains. String bonus instruments. Let's check these out. Okay, this is pretty cool. We got crescendo effects.
that's really nice. Let's see what we got here. Falls. Yeah, just nine samples of falls and bonus string effects hits. Again, I'm going to turn the verb off. I just want to hear what we have going on here. Yeah, just a little bit of natural uh, ambience from the recording room. selection of string risers there as bonuses as well um, if you had not seen me play through the original woodwinds or brass or the other string articulations uh, i'll include a link to the official video my first look of the original orchestra with the complete here they've got this morin kur which is a mongolian violin And then there's a low version of this ensemble as well. in more into some of the multis and then play around even more with some of the presets. Uh, we've got these new choir and string multis. Let's check out what they've done here. nice just stacking up uh, female choir sustains female choir ah sustains male choir and male choir and then we've got a stack of violin violin two viola jelly and bass that's pretty cool let's see what uh, some of these additional new ones have to offer Mixing in some of the bonus instruments as well as strings of winter. <laughs> Yeah, and I 
nice that Mongolian uh, violin with some brass. And let's go ahead and clear our multis out so I'm not stacking more than I intend. And we'll check out a couple more of these. Here's the Armageddon Sustains. Yeah, very expressive already. Lots of fun. Let's go ahead and check out the rhythm, rhythms. This is where I think the uh, big aha moments for the library really kick in for most people. Just loading up a couple of these and playing some chords and seeing what their engine can do. It's fun. You hear that? Uh, we got our uh, up high here. Our bells really adding another dimension. I'm trying to see where that is loaded up. Here it is the Glockenspiel hit right here. Yeah, so much fun. I'm going to get lost again and make another 10 minute, 10 hour video. What was I going to say there? Uh, let's check out just a couple more of these rhythm presets. Let's go ahead and change our tempo a little bit. I don't want to be in 120 all the time for entire videos. Orchestra. Just listen to a couple of these randomly. Nice little harp arpeggio at the top. And it helps if I play something a little bit in tune.
yeah, that's pretty nice. And we've got Winter Strings animated presets. Let's hear some of these specifically with the new articulations. Getting lost again. Really nice. I really like the expansion of these uh, new Strings of Winter presets. They add quite a bit to the sound of this whole library. Now, of note here is the ability to go into your, oh, it's right up here. You're able to play along, I believe. Let's see if I can get my click going. And now it just recorded my MIDI there, so I should be able to drag and drop over here. And now it's created uh, five different tracks for me based on my five instruments and what they were doing. So let's take a look. Um, this Conlingo, this will be probably the easiest one to notice if it's doing the same thing and how it interacts. So we'll go to Arpeggiator 3 in the engine and we'll see, let's just mute everything else. And so what we should be able to do is just simply play back here. And it's actually trying to play it, the Kong Lingo, with no arpeggiator. So I'm going to turn it off. And what's nice about this is you can see that the engine corrected my performance before, um, but it did not correct the MIDI that I performed when it recorded in. So now I could very easily grab this. Give it a little bit of quantization, quantization. Now you can go in and do all kinds of things. including uh, adjust the MIDI playback, the notes, the rhythms. And you can see here, I even played that part off because I was doing the right on that. I know, I think I quantized to, no, I quantized to 16ths, to 8ths. And 
and again off there. But I think we're starting to get the idea of what is going on. And it was still a little off there. I could fix that. But I think what's more important than fixing it is um, go ahead and turn this back on. Muting my MIDI performance and going back to the instrument. Right here. And see how that's all stacking together because it let me export all five of these envelope changes. Let's take a look at that. Yep, here's our modulation, which should line up with the envelope one. It looks a little bit different, but maybe that's because of the way it uh, converts it um, from performance and uh, mod wheel is in play as well when I use the mod wheel see it's it's adjusting my envelopes as well yeah I like that a lot I actually think that makes this extremely powerful you can use other sample libraries um, expand it on to use synths backing up or layering if you want. Yeah, a lot of possibilities and a lot of things to wrap my head around now. I guess my thoughts here as I close out the video, checking out the orchestra complete, is that this really makes this library a real workhorse. I loved the arpeggiation in the engine, the envelope filters before, I found some of the original orchestra samples to be adequate, yet a little bit lacking. So being able to drag MIDI uh, really will let me take control with other sample libraries. With the new orchestra complete, what I'm finding is the Strings of Winter, the bonus instruments, and the new articulations, including those Mongolian violins, really open this up to a whole lot more expression and musical feel. I'm loving what they've done with this. Love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the libraries? Is this something you're going to be upgrading to? Please comment in the description below. I always love to learn more about what your thoughts are on libraries. Always love your support. Please like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to head over to samplelibrarywreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page.